Hi. Guys, welcome back to From Under the From Bed. From Under the Bed. Uh, my name is Stevie. And I'm Sarah. Yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we here. We're here. Welcome back to your um, spooky podcast. Your resident. Your scary, spooky, spooky. Your, your resident. Your resident. Your spooky resident, podcast. spooky podcast. Resident. We are evil. We haven't covered Resident Evil. We but haven't. We need to play the new game. Well, the remastered game because. He keeps following us, Leon Kennedy. Leon S. Kennedy keeps yeah, following. Leon does keep specifically following us. us. Not to, not to mention that like the promo for the game is just everywhere, and we were like, "Why do we see him? Like he's following us." We, we went to Mega. Yeah, as if we weren't like, at a nerd convention, being like us surrounded oh. by stuff, and we're like, "How could he possibly be everywhere?" There's a literal new. <laughs> Listen, that you put the nerds in a nerd environment and we feel at home, so we're not thinking that it's all <laughs> catered to You know what I'm saying? Like, we were like, wait a minute. Oh, uh, Anyway, he's still following us, so we need to, we need he's to play everywhere. it. He's everywhere. We'll play it, and then we'll review the games as well. You see? but um On our Patreon. but um We do want to put stuff like that on Patreon. You know, like horror games. I like it. Stuff like that. I want to play. We need to play them, and then it'll be insufferable for you, though, because you'll be playing it. And I will just be screaming into your ear and, and hiding the whole time. I used to watch this on YouTube all the time, though, when people would play, like, scary, like you know, was it Silent Is it Silent Hill? Yeah. Yeah. And, like, other stuff, too. And I was like, you know what? What if we did that? What if he's on our side? Mm-hmm. What you if know? he's on our side? You know? Okay. Before we get into the movie, I want to shout out um, my our friend's podcast called Have You Seen? And Aaron and Carlos are the hosts. And I'm their editor. And they covered this recently. It was actually Arn and Sam who covered it. Carlos wasn't there that day. But they watch movies that they've never seen or one of them hasn't seen. And it's like a live reaction situation. Movie react. So if you want to see that, check them out. They are really funny. It's a clever <laughs> and title. Ridiculous. I love that. Have you seen? Have you seen? I have it. Drag Me to Hell. It. You see? Yeah, but they are not solely horror based, and I they do like all Everything. types of things. Yeah, they did like Vegas Vacation and <laughs> <That was fun. laughs> yeah, and some other stuff. But yeah, this one their episode on this is already up, so go check it out. Go check it out. The links are down below, so check them out. Beautiful. Yay. Okay. Two thumbs way up. Four thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of like throwbacks to like watching YouTube, watching people play games, a throwback is when Stevie texted me and said, <laughs> What if we watch Drag Me to Hell? And I feel like I had a literal like flashback nostalgic moment of just like seeing this trailer everywhere on TV, like when this came out. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I was like, I maybe I'll eventually see it, like just because of my mom. Like she's just always like wanting to watch that stuff. But I never, I had never seen it, like a bit of it. And you hadn't either, right? Like at all? Um, I feel like I saw like one scene and then my cousin used to watch it all the time and she was like obsessed with it. Like oh, like like a cult classic almost. For yeah, her. but I, yeah, like I guess speaking of our first like interaction or um, interactions with it, that was it. I remember when, it, yeah, because I was like 16, 17 when it came out. Yeah, it like came out. Because it was 2009, May 29th. So actually I was 17. Wow. This came out the day after my birthday look at that Mm -hmm. like i I just remember seeing it and it and also seeing the cover of it because it doesn't really look like that actress to me when you look at the cover. no it doesn't and it looks like a different actress Mm -hmm. so i'm like always looking at it being like oh i feel like i know that girl or i know her like when i think of it but Mm -hmm. then watching it i was like she looks familiar yeah yeah Yeah, she's familiar but not for the same reason i was like wait a minute yeah i had the same thought where i was like um and then it's trickery because her name's Allison Lohman. <laughs> it's trickery. And I'm like, wait, like it reminded me of like Ali Lohan, like Allison Lohan, like uh, Lindsay Lohan's sister. Oh. For like a moment in time. Remember when she was like a name? Yes. And then but she I, disappeared. If you, you asked know? me what her sister's name was, I would not be able to tell you. So. I think she started going by Ali. Like it was like Ali Lohan. Mm. You know? Anyway, though, but this is, yeah, this, I was always like, okay. And I recognize, I just remember the trailers looking like ridiculous for it. Um. But that's all I knew. I did not. I mean, I assumed someone was going to get dragged to hell. (laughs) (laughs) One would. (laughs) One would think. Yeah. I swear. I I don't even. Yeah, because I feel like I didn't even know. Like, I remember the trailers and stuff. But I'm like, did I even know, like, who was in it? What was going on? That there was, like. I did not know Justin Long was in it. 
I don't remember Justin Long being in it. And every time he shows up, we're always pleasantly surprised. My gosh. And in this one, okay, if you listen to our bear, our, our, if you listen to our Barbarian episode, or if you watch Barbarian, in this movie, he's redeemed. Like night and day. I mean, we always love Justin Long, but in Barbarian, he was horrible. The thing is, is that I was ready to be like, yeah, I'm excited to see him in this one, Mm -hmm. but I was ready for him to be an awful boyfriend yeah. in this. And so I was just like, well, Cause you another almost, like, time. Yeah. It almost happened every time. And then we were like, oh, wait, no. He's literally that kind of character that every time is like, no. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know what? You know, I'm here for you. And I'm like, okay. Also, to be clear, I mean, Justin Long's character was horrible. Of in course. Barbarian, of not course. His acting. Of course. Of course. He was, in, he was yeah. fantastic. Mm-hmm. But in this one, ugh. Yeah. So I didn't know he was in it. I didn't even, I just did not know anything about it. But yeah, Stevie was like, "What you like?" We're like, "What? Oh yeah, well, watch that, watch that." And I was like, "Home," and you were home too, like, like. And I was watching with my parents, and uh, I think it was right after I was telling you that you text. I was like, "So I finished it," and you were like, "Thoughts?" And I'm like, "And <laughs> prayers, girl." <laughs> You're like, "Yeah, you were real quiet about it." I was like, "So are you?" I think it's because I watched I mean, it, and then I watched something when you were else. Watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then I was like, "I didn't give you an update is it after." Done? Like, yeah, I was like. I don't so what was have, that? yeah, I was like, so that was a lot. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even really think of it as like, um, like it is a cohesive movie, but I don't think of it as like a movie movie. I feel like I just saw like a bunch of like YouTube, like react, like, like, Wah! kind of like short films put together to make people be like jump scared. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like when they're like showing the crowd. Yeah, like or something. The theater, you know? Like I feel like it's like Why do they do that all the time? Yeah, we're like they're like, look how scary this film look is. Look how terrifying uh, this is gonna it's be. It's like a roller coaster preview when they show them like or what is it on Spaceship or oh when they my show them. God, I love like, that because that's so funny. Every time I'm like, they filmed that in like the early nineties. It you can literally tell. looks like they're getting like they're torn. Like, this is space. And I'm like it I was is. just thinking of you the other day because I looked up the Velociraptor POV as on the on the roller coaster. That thing's terrifying. And oh, also, the Velocicoaster. Why do mean? I feel? Oh, what did I say? Did I say Velociraptor? Yeah, and I was like, on dinosaur. And what do you mean? Velocicoaster. A Velociraptor with the coaster. But I looked up the. I don't know why I was doing this. I can't remember. Oh, someone asked like on on um, Facebook like annual pass holders. They were like, "Hey, is Velocicoaster that Scary. much different than Rock and Roller Coaster?" Rock and people and were like, "You're gonna coaster. never." <laughs> they were like, <laughs> "Guys," and 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 I was just thinking about. But they I were really it. trying. They were like, "Please let it not they, be that." Bad. I know they were like, "I'm being for real." I like, love can it. You, I, why are there no shoulder straps? Why is it I just told a lap you this. bar? I know, but why? But you know how I feel that I usually don't like just lap bars. Me but neither. I really love that ride. Yeah, because you're out of but you're gonna be out of your seat. No. The thing about it is that it like covers your whole leg. So your whole legs are held in. So it's not like it's just a bar. It's like your whole bottom half is Does like. Does your secure. butt come out of the seat though? Yes. No, I don't I never felt that. I swear. I'm not just doing people this to get saying, you on the ride. I people swear. keep saying that you... I'm not riding that ride, but that's cute. Yeah. The way, you the, should. The way people are like, oh, I thought I was going to die like three times. No. And they're like, it was amazing. On. But they're like, yeah, I thought I was going to die. Like when it goes over the water upside down. Yeah, that's the best part. And you feel like you're coming out of the seat. I never that's felt that way. That's the best part. I never felt that way. I need also shoulders. Also random... Because <laughs> we were talking about spaceship. Oh, I mean, yeah, space. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, you said spaceship. We said spaceship, brother. We were talking about Space Mountain. We were. Whoa. But you knew exactly what I meant. Because <laughs> yeah, you like, mentioned spaceship what? the other day. Um, or no, you didn't. You mentioned yesterday. Mission Space. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, God. Spaceship Earth. I thought you weren't going to ride it because it was Mission Space. No, no, I meant Spaceship Earth, but the guy thought I was like, why didn't you go on? And oh, I was like, oh, no, I'm just standing here. Oh. Yeah. I don't care for mission space yeah see that's why I don't I, get, in my head that's what you were talking about yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah i don't get motion sick but that freaking but ride that one needs to calm down though you is know? a lot you know anyways anywho uh, this movie is uh directed by sam raimi and we were talking about our thoughts and like our our <laughs> now i'm thinking our thoughts and our prayers thoughts and prayers girl um mm-hmm. <laughs> when it comes to sam raimi and i feel like he's a name that i hear all the time but i don't like necessarily have like a connection i don't know if that's the right word well, like, but you know what i mean where i'm just like people love him love him they're like die hard for he's him he's like oh but you know what because he did evil dead right and i i haven't seen those well, like, what's his list of films yeah because like he did spider-man yeah i think of spider-man then, the original uh, but then or he one was and involved three. with like no way home wasn't he or like they consulted him they did something with him in no way home didn't they because Let's they brought see. in obviously his 
Oh. He's probably some type of credit on it. Oh, he also did. um, You know what it is? I feel like. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. Because he also did um, Doctor Strange and the Multitude. Multiverse. That's what it is. Which I haven't seen. Yeah. I didn't see that one. Because. Why did I think you had? Maybe uh, maybe it's because we talked about it a lot. A lot of people say that they didn't like it. And I was like. Oh, he did Spider Man one through three. Okay, we yeah, do yeah, have yeah. connection, yeah, yeah. which I knew that. Wait, which is the one that you thought? Oh, yeah. No, okay. I knew that. But then he did I did all three of them, and then I'm pretty sure he came on for some type of per- something for No Way Home. Like, yeah, produced it or helped, whatever. Let me see. Um, because obviously it's his characters, like you know, Tobey Maguire's mm. Spider Man's. Mm. Mm-hmm. But then, yeah, I forgot that they did bring him. And you know what's funny is that this the little bit in like Spider Man two when they're trying to come up with a name for Doc Ock. And he's like, uh, blah, blah, blah. his like the assistant at the newspaper is like, eh, could you blah blah blah? And, and J, what's his name, Jonah Jameson, JJJ, whatever. He's like, he's like, no, that's awful. And he's like, Doctor Strange. He's like, taken or it's like, <laughs> something. And then he's like, how about Doc Ock? And he's like, oh. and then he's like, wait, I have it, Doc Ock. And the guy's like, yeah. he's like, yeah, yeah I just. <laughs> but it's somebody. He's like, yeah, good, but no, already taken. Good. And it's funny because they were like, he foreshadowed that he would be in charge of doing Doctor Strange. Uh, and multitude of madness, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, multiverse of madness. Multiverse. I know. I keep saying multitude. Multitudes. I contain multitudes. But he. But everyone was excited for him to do that one because he has also a background in horror as well and superheroes. So it was like a mix because that one was a little bit horrific, <laughs> you know, because they tried to bring the horror into it. But also, which one? The it's Doctor Strange. There was horror in it. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it. But like. <sighs> They kind of, it was more of like promised horror that was mm. still felt like a, a, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Also, Wanda deserved better, but. I don't know what happened. I just mean deserves better as like just a, in for general. her own. Like she deserved her own movie. Not well, just yeah, I just know that people were talking about how they didn't like what happened with her in that movie, but I don't know what happened, but. Mm. it's I mean, mm. I saw it, I saw it, it was still fun, but also I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because it I also feel like, has the line that, have you heard on TikTok where he's all like, it's when Dr. Strange is talking the one like, she's like if you do it you're a genius oh. or whatever and when i do it i'm no but that was also yeah. trending but she i was talking about genius, when he but... talks to rachel mcadams and he's like i love you in every universe and i was just like what? the way they do it is so beautiful and i loved it when i people... forgot that rachel mcadams was in that i know it's because she wasn't she doesn't always pop up in everything mm-hmm. you know but then uh people use that line for like link and zelda like just i just love it when they use it for like things that it's like in I every love i love it <laughs> anyway i feel like okay and now i'm going through his i know this is listen this is sam Raimi corner because it's obviously as it should be yeah i just feel like some of these i'm like oh i know that and then i click it and i'm like wait that's not what i thought it was well it's like it's almost like he's an underground kind of like horror but he's like no but he's not because obviously evil dead yeah i think Um, it's just because i think of that and evil dead is like every but it's one of those ones that i think has a cult following but also like a mainstream following Mm -hmm. and maybe i'm just but i've never seen it. i've never seen it either Mm -hmm. we have to see yeah we do and every time i say okay listen we haven't seen every what i want to say is that i feel like because we are so interested in horror Mm -hmm. and we have a horror podcast that i feel like i should have seen some of the but that's the the greats yeah but there's that's also not that's so hard to be hard with horror too with That's anybody true. who loves film, honestly. And film. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, especially with horror, when there's just so many, like, like such a specific niche thing. Not niche, but, like, there's so many different vasts. Like, you could have been, like, I feel like the majority of horror, but, like, I see, I've seen a lot of classics, like, you have too. But then I feel like, um, it feels like, like, basically, like, me growing up, like, I feel like I would see classics. Like, we both would see classics. But, like, so many films I see are, like also the kind that are just like on netflix at one point or another or similar things like blockbuster ones that you just be like let me watch that and so it's like i've seen so many of things that are like oh yeah did you see that horror movie like from randomly from 2007 that no one else saw Mm -hmm. and it's like yeah yeah, yeah." or that no one really remembers but then there's like big famous ones that like unless it's like you know friday the 13th or like other stuff but i just i don't know it's just it's a mix and it's weird because there's no formula like there's no like well we didn't watch those or we didn't you know what i mean and so I don't know what I'm really trying to say here, except for the fact that it's okay. You're just and like, sometimes and we that's just the don't point see of everything. This. We can't have seen everything. Well, that's everything. the point of this. We're like, facil- it's like a facilitated yeah. way for us to finally cover the stuff that like, I don't know. Like, it's just, even if it's from in the abyss, that it's like, wait, pluck it out. Let's watch it. Yeah. You know? And just, I feel like Evil Dead is, you is know what it is? What it's the because cover it's of a, Evil it's Dead a zombie look like? movie now. Yeah. Is it? Okay, never mind. That's not the one you're thinking. There's a red cover. Is that the one you're thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that one with the red cover? Ooh, wait, is this the, is that what the new movie is that came out with that mom? Isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. did he do? Is that the I didn't same? see the trailer. Me but neither. 
Ew, Stevie. Yeah, this one you're talking about. I'm getting scared. Ew, mommy loves you to death. Yeah, I don't. Okay, well, basically, I guess we have to watch the Evil Dead movies, but I'm scared. I feel. It's fine. Like, <laughs> silly to not have seen them, but I don't know why, because nah. I never feel like. I never think of them. I like, no have. one ever talks about them, though. I don't even know what the plot is. It's funny, though, because I. If you had told me to guess who directed this film or created it, like, I would have never have guessed him. Like, I would have never have been like. Like, I just. It just. I had no idea he did this film. <laughs> You know, I um I was saying that I thought that I always think that this one is by M Night, and it's not. Like I would, oh, I kept, See, that's it, funny. I kept got, like every time we talked about it, I would mm-hmm. be like, oh yeah, the M Night, and then I'm like, wait, why that's is not, that though? Just because of the don't. name situation? I think so. Okay, uh, and also because you know how he does ones that are like, I don't even know because I feel like it doesn't have, like have a, the vibe. Yeah, but I didn't know that because I, think I didn't. The closest thing it could be to having his vibe is like the happening. Like, you know, oh, with Mark Wahlberg. Oh, uh, what? No. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like it's that not. kind of vibe where you're like, what? M. Night made this? What is this? What's going on? What's happening? Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I just, even just watching it, <laughs> my mom kept being like, Sarah, what is happening? Why what are is we this? watching? What is this? <laughs> she was like, why did you run this? She was like, <laughs> she literally quoted, you'll get kicked. She was like, you, you owe me a pair of new slippers. <laughs> and I was like, you, you had fun. She's like, yeah, I did. My mom. Oh my God. Okay. So we're watching it. My mom had seen it before and she's sitting there and it's okay. Obviously we're going to go through the, like, we're going to spoilers. Okay. Mm-hmm. But we're watching it and I'm screaming because I'm like, I swear if Justin Long in this movie who is like an angel mm-hmm. if something happened i was so annoyed because of the i assumed he was gonna die i thought he was gonna die yeah and the whole time i was like freaking out my mom's sitting there like <laughs> silent and i was like ha- she fell asleep and then she woke up again but oh. she's already seen it mm-hmm. then the end the most abrupt situation and i just looked at her and i was like i'm like did you know this was gonna happen she's like yeah and she was just like I... sitting there she's like yeah no because i was freaking out when it ended i was like that's the end and she's like staring at me like yeah that's it and i was like you see ma'am my mom was literally like what what and she's like what but my dad is so he's one of those people that have you seen it no not not, neither of them okay but his my dad will do that thing where it's like why would you walk over there like and i'm like you weren't even wanting to watch you were not even gonna watch this and he's like why are they doing like what is happening (laughs) why are you and i'm like it's like that thing where it's like i assure you I mean, they're probably dumb, whoever's in the movie, like in, in any movie where it's like, why would you do that? But it, like, it's like that thing where it's like, why are they doing that? And it's like, I assure you, the movie will probably answer your question. I feel like that was a <laughs> what? David Sedaris. Where I think are it they was going? that. What's happening? <laughs> I think why it was would that. they go there? It's when I read, this is so random, but I'm giving proper credit that when I read the book, Me Talk Pretty One Day for School by David Sedaris. Sedaris? Yeah. Sed- yeah, Sedaris, 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 yeah, 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 brother. brother. But he like had a thing in it where it was like he, when he went to France, I think, or something. And he was like people barely talk in there, but it's like if in the movie theaters in France, but like the people in front of him were just going off or something. And he was like, "I assure you, the next few scenes are probably going to answer your questions." And they're like, "Oh, Listen, so I just think of that." We but always talk about how we are very reactionary. If you can't vibe with us in the theater, because we are respectful, okay. Sorry that we just have to also have a little <laughs> moment of communication. I love it when we've talked about this before, but when, I love it when I hear other people just whispering to each other. Me, and I'm like, it's part of the experience. Because I'm not, it's not like they're like yelling and I'm no. not really hearing what they're saying. You know, they're not disrupting me as long yeah. as they're not like screaming. And a lot of people I know mean, how know to do I mean. it in between major yeah, dialogue yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. But Literally. sometimes people will say something and they'll, They'll just add to it. And yeah. you're like, yeah, I felt that way too. Speaking of like Sam Raimi, loud. I think of all the time of when I watched Spider-Man 2 in theaters. And at the very end when Mary J- Mary Jane is like left her husband for him, which like, okay, at the altar, which like, okay. But when she's in there, she's I like. I remember her. Who was the guy that she was going to marry? Oh, um, the son of J- Jonah oh, James. You know, the, he's, the, he's the actor from Vampire Diaries. Anyway, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's always Vampire Diaries. I, it really is. Anyway, but or she... Or Walking... What was the other one? Or Walking True Dead. Blood. True, True Blood. True Blood or... Um, and the, obviously the Vampire Diaries, he's from like the originals, but is which is from Vampire Diaries. But anyway, the guy that she was supposed to marry. But she leaves him and then literally the whole point is that like she is about to be like, go get him, Tiger, to like... Oh, or, yeah. like but before that, before they kiss, they were just taking forever staring at each other and some guy in the theater goes, kiss her already! Or yelled it really loud <laughs> or something and everyone laughed and then they like make out. And I was like so young and I remember just being like, eh, that was funny. Like he really added to it. <laughs> so I think of every time I watch it. So you see, it's I wonder what that man's doing now. Right. What's he up to? He's probably like our age when I was like eight and he's just like, 
literally like anyway <laughs> no. so who knows where he's at now who are you where are you sir do you see but it's funny because yeah i just like the experience and remember when we were watching the the, the third my hero academia movie oh my which God. was a fever dream i <laughs> listen and the guy in front of us whenever there's young a, Midoriya. Yeah. <laughs> It was like silent and it's just like showed all my small might, mind you. And he was just on the screen and the guy's just like, or the guy literally was goes young Midoriya. And then all of a sudden small might's like young, young Midoriya. Midoriya. <laughs> we were lying. His girlfriend was like, <laughs> the whole theater was like, it was bro. so funny. I can't. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I hope uh, he's doing well too. I know. Right, man. That was a good one. But see, it's an experience. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the budget of this film. The budget was $30 million. It feels like that, it should be that less. That seems like a lot. Yeah. But again, I, I feel like we always talk about how we're like, what is what is a, like a big budget when it comes to horror? It feels you know? like everything about like location-wise was didn't need a lot yeah. of stuff. But, but then, then like, again, the effects. effects like, but they yeah. weren't like amazing they were wild, effects, but then though. There was like a lot of gore and... It was more like Not gore, ridiculous. But like, effects. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It was yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. like that doesn't look realistic, but that's... which I guess is a Sam Raimi thing. I is that is that what that is? Where it's kind of I like think we're gonna have to watch Evil Dead and then I come back so. and be like, okay, we understand. Which, like, no one this gives that vibe. I feel like I didn't think people were into that though. Like I feel like people usually the, are like, like like kind of the campy. Like, yeah, which Ish. well we do like love camp. camp we do we love, do love camp. camp so you know what that's true but i just think that's funny because and i do forget just because i'm seeing this now forget that it's like not it didn't just come out like it's literally from 2009 yeah so it's a different time a different era a different era where i'm thinking about you know what let me give it props because i'm thinking about my bloody valentine as well it, and you know what we stand that film. You know I love that film. I would we cover that, that film, film every We could literally day. do that thing. We could do another episode about that film. We need to do the thing where the McElroys come back and watch. Yeah, and watch it again. Oh, how they friend. watch when one they, every year. Yeah, they where they watch the, Paul, Paul, Paul Blart, Blart Mall Cop with their friend <laughs> or their friends. And I'm like, what if my bloody Valentine is our Valentine's like, Day we, <laughs> annual thing? Do we have a new take this year? We could Maybe literally not. talk about it every year. I love it. Okay. I'm just saying. But see, I get it. So I'm like, you know what when the first well what's funny is i also told stevie well, i'm let watching- me tell you real quick it oh. made 90 million. Oh, yeah okay. in the box office so wait it, so it was a so hit. it did well but is that i wonder if that is because it's but, sam raimi interesting do you think i mean i remember it doing well like i, I remember so. it being like oh drag me to hell but then i remember my again my cousin being like obsessed because she thought it was really funny See, like I so didn't maybe think that's she wasn't vibe. obsessed because it was like, like oh, maybe horror. the vibe. She was like, yeah. it's ridiculous, and yeah. I love that. Which, like, again, it's like all about like, setting expectations mm-hmm. and stuff. Well, you know. Sorry, I I cut you off. Fun. Sorry, I was like, oh, oh, oh it was related oh, to the yes, thing, yes, yes. so I was like, that's it TV, made ninety million. You texted me about the, like right before, and I was like, well, anyway, I'm clicking the unrated version, and you were like, unrated. I know. I was like, wait, watch the one I watched on Tubi. Uh, yeah, and I was like. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I was like but I think it was the same. It must have been because we were trying to compare stuff. And I was like. I was like, what was unrated about it? Because the one I watched was like, if that was it, if mine wasn't unrated, then yeah. yours was. I was because like, Because I was even asking was you, in- there was so many scenes. One, there's just so many like bodily fluid scenes of yeah. just like throwing up blood, um, like just vomiting into people's mouths, like gnawing with your bare gums, <laughs> um, which honestly they were. I will say one thing. No matter, regardless, like I remember I was talking with my parents about that, where it's like it was entertaining the whole time. Yeah, the whole time mm-hmm. I never felt bored. Yeah. I was just like, oh my god! That's like true. most of the time. That's true. I okay, I liked it. I, I will say I liked it. It was fine. I think it was like a fun time, but it, it's not one. It's, it's not one that you would rewatch. Yeah, often. unless it was already on or something, and I'm yeah. like, that's funny. There's that. Oh, or hey, look at this. That scene. <laughs> like you know, if someone was in the room, and you're like, wait, you gotta watch the scene because I know what's happening. Mm-hmm. But I feel like. Yeah, it was just like there was like I remember like the part the first scene that's really is with the woman in the car. So like the whole thing is that wait, she, yeah. Do you want to do the little blurb for it? Oh yeah, okay. And then we can talk about that scene. Yeah, I want to talk about it. <laughs> wait, the woman it's in the a car. standout like the, oh, the woman. I'm like, yeah. what part? It's in like the, the car? first time that you're yeah. like, okay, this is the kind of film. This is. <laughs> Guys, we're all over the place today. And also, I will tell you that it, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a ninety-two percent. 
um i don't know how to feel about that rotten tomatoes we are always at odds with rotten yeah. tomatoes because i'm not angry about that rating, if you know but i'm also just like okay no i'm not angry about it i think you know if you've watched or listened to our podcast before you know how we feel about rotten tomatoes because every time we like a movie they're like it's an 18 percent, and i'm like and I'm like, did you watch it? You mean this masterpiece? Did the tomato watch it? I don't think you he did. You mean this master? Did mm-hmm. the tomato watch it? He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's rotten. Boo, Ugh, tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> They're on tomatoes. <laughs> but <laughs> Google users gave it 82%. Okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, it's a well-liked film. Yeah, like, and it, it's And just... I'm not surprised or mad about it, you know yeah. what I mean? But, okay, I do want, I do like that in this blurb. This is on, on Google. And it calls Justin Long a loving boyfriend, which he is, is he. That is how you would describe him in this movie. I'm glad they acknowledge that yeah. because I, I'm serious when I say like that's the standout. Like that, I'm not yeah. even trying to be like, oh, haha, crush corner. Like he was. <laughs> he is the, our crush like, corner. Like when we texted about, I'm just thinking because of like the text we had. We literally went from like, what was that to like, so anyway. So Justin can we agree Long, that yeah, Justin Long? That's all that I can think of when I think of this film. Like it. <laughs> Anyway, loving boyfriend. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Beanie's like, I made my out. Okay. Christine Brown has a loving boyfriend and a great job at a Los Angeles. Okay, I'm starting over. Also, okay, guys, I've had a cold, so if I sound like that, I'm sorry. Good, because I feel like all I hear is a second grader, like I told you. It's all I hear. Anyways, okay. Christine Brown has a loving boyfriend and a great job at a Los Angeles bank. Also, I didn't realize it was in L.A. Me neither. Mm. Nothing about it. No. Even where she lived, although it did feel more like Sa- San, San, San Francisco. San Francisco, yeah. Because charmed, like the way she mm. lived in that little, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it felt like San Francisco. I wonder if they <laughs> shot it. Charmed. Literally. You were like the vibe, yeah, and I'm like charmed. You're charmed. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, not wrong, mm-hmm. not wrong. Full house. You know? <laughs> it's different. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but her heavenly life becomes hellish when in an effort to impress her I mean, boss it's good it's good <laughs> good line good line mm-hmm. uh, in an effort to impress her boss she denies an old woman a request for an extension on her home in retaliation okay i don't like the word the crone they i don't know i'm crone? sorry every time we read these i just read them but i have a lot to say about this blurb apparently the in re- <laughs> the crone places <laughs> in retaliation the crone places a curse on christine threatening her soul with eternal damnation. They said that with a straight face. Like, not you, them. They're literally like, the crone. Play, like The crone. Christine C. <laughs> that word's not used enough. Isn't that like the holy trin... The, the maid... The maiden, the mother, and the crone. Like, the three... What no, trinity? It's not trinity. That's the I was Bible. like, the father, the son, That's and the holy the ghost. <laughs> I was like, what? But I'm thinking... I mean, the it three. It reminds the... me of like a tarot card kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That's what it is. Okay. It's like the maid... The maid and the mother and the crone, I think. Oh. Those are the, no, it's the three phases of life as or for like, like women, a women yeah. thing. Yeah. It's not, okay. Anyways, no, no, sorry. you're it's on it. You're right. Yeah. The Trinity. The, you're like. But it is a Trinity. It is. It has a name. Back to Charmed. I was going to literally, I was going to say the, the, what is it? The Charmed Ones. Me. Charmed what are they ones. called? The tr- <laughs> it's all coming together. The three. It's all coming together. Except, well, and then Piper, and then Paige <laughs> appears. We're like, and and introduce a backup as always we're like all oh, and then okay christine <laughs> christine seeks a psychic's help to break the curse but the price to save her soul may be more than she can pay wow wow so see so this movie also it's universal pictures i just thought i'd say hmm. and lionsgate L- Ugh, lionsgate you know what mm-hmm. love it love to see it um yeah, that's the thing. So, like, the, the scene we were talking about a second ago is that, so she, well, you know what? I am going to pre- preface with this, that my thing, and this is going to factor into my rating at the end, too. My thing is that I was waiting for this character to become likable, the main oh, character. Oh. I was waiting Christine. for her to be, like, like, it's not that I wasn't rooting for her to, like, win, because, yeah, I am. But there was, like, and it's not that she was, like, a bad actress or anything. I literally was just, like, this girl is claiming to be like, she's not claiming to be innocent, but I felt like her boyfriend thinks so much of her, like morally. Like he's like, you're such a good person. 
And obviously, like, I thought that that was going to be a moment of weakness in the beginning when she's just like, I really want this promotion. So she turns the woman down, blames it. and But she never redeems herself in that sense. Like, yeah, it's not equivalent. Like, her doing that doesn't mean that you should just, like, damn her to hell, obviously. But, like... I feel like she never is like, I was wrong to do that. Like until the very, the end. very end. But even then, like before, right before that, she's still like, it wasn't me. Isn't it was the thing? God, my boss. Yeah. It's like, it was you. Yeah. Where you know? it's like, she just is always like, well, I'm innocent and I never do anything wrong. That's what I'm wrong. saying. Yeah. And she's so like blase, but like not like in a until conniving well, she also, way. Just like in a, what? But uh, then when she goes to the house, she does admit it to the. But to, to the, the d- granddaughter, to, yeah, remember? but she still tells her niece or remember whatever. She, was she like, tells her though, it was my boss, not me. And the niece is like, yeah, but then she's like, so you're gonna lie? She's like, okay, no, but I need to like, she needs to forgive me, and so she's I just like, felt very so like, just gonna lie to me. And they kept bringing up, and this has nothing to do with the same thing, but they kept bringing up the weird stuff of like her past yeah. when she was a kid. Why did they not bring that up again? They literally were like, let's look at a photo of her, and they, then the girl and then was the, all the granddaughter or niece was yeah. like, anyway, you used to be fat, and she's like. Okay. And they don't, yeah, and they never bring it up again. I'm like, like I do want to know: is there like a director's cut? I, <laughs> like, is there something? Wh- where were they so thinking where were of they going, going with, with that? that? Yeah. yeah, we. Anytime they add something like that, I'm like, there's had to be a, been an initial reason. But then why know? not just cut those scenes out? Like, would they not? Right. Have, would it not have had? The, I guess Cause she was to like, have her be like. And you know what? That too. I know she was scared. There's many things she just does, and I'm just like. Were you a good person? Like, not... I don't know. It's confusing. Because I think she doesn't that she's seem like just evil, one but of those people that's like... Desperate times. Call for... De- she no, ki- She reminds- kills the cat, like, two minutes in. I thought that was going to be the last resort, Stevie. I don't want to think about that. Because I know. Because, honestly... I, okay. Well, we'll get... We'll talk about that. But uh, what I was going to say was... She seems like one of those people that's like... Oh... Not hear no evil, see no evil. But, like, kind of just like... Until if you don't speak up, yeah. you're still part of the issue. And she's just mm-hmm. kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, I'm just going. It's it's happening to me. Everything's yeah. happening to but me. But, like, Justin just Long, like, like, talks about her, which is sweet. But he talks about her as if she, like, like is a walk charitable, like, yeah, hung the moon kind of person. And I'm like, that's that. so lovely. Hung the moon. I did like her more when they at the were at end the, when no. she goes to the free when she no, gets, no, like. No, when she goes to the, his parents' house. Oh. I liked her there because I felt very, like. Like, she was very vulnerable there and was trying to be like, I need to make this work. And then also, I liked the connection she made, like, with his parents. Because he has, like, this ridiculously, like, strict and, like, not strict, um, like, kind of prejudiced. But, like, just, what do you, what would you call Waspy. it? Waspy. Yeah, yeah. And he's, she's just like, you're not supposed to marry that kind of person, like a farm girl, whatever. Yeah. And, like, she won her over, though, because she was enjoyable or being truthful. So I was like, okay, I like you this know side of her. Is, you too? Know? I think that she doesn't have a personality. I and mean, then at that point, she kind of does. She kind of had a little she bit. Like, they took to the like, backstory of her yeah. farm, at least, which I'm like, okay. So that picture we saw was that she won some, like, contest or something. Like, the, I don't know. And then, but it clearly like a shows. Pig yeah. Fest. Or something. something like that, which is what you were, yeah. you were talking about in St. Pete, right? Pig Fest or oh, something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's from there. Hey, now. Anyway. But she, um, but like, yeah, like, I was like, okay, well, that ties in with the farm aspect, but it was just very, like, there was a lot. Anyway, but you're right. I think it's like, I just wanted to know her more. She was just kind of like, blah. Mm hmm. And she was just kind of there, like you said, very reactionary, like, okay, this is an issue. I have to deal with it. Let's go. And it's just like, okay, but who are you? Yeah. You know? And she kind of like, that's why, like, once we got to the end and she was like, that's it. Yeah. And I'm like, finally. I was, she's like, like, cheering for got, her because she was like, yeah. Yeah. She's, like, actually. Like, re, like having emotion. Have a because voice even when she did a, stuff, like the cat and stuff, she was just like. Mm. And I'm like, uh, are you going to talk about I how. I like, so bad. I was, uh, again. Cat. Obviously, the second. Seconds. The second. That's funny. We both said that second. But we're talking about, the second I saw the cat and you probably thought the same. Yeah, I was like. Yeah. Before die. they even mentioned anything, I was like, this cat's going to die. I had it? no idea it was going to be like that, though. No idea. And also, again, I thought that we we're going to have a little bit of time before. <laughs> like, he, like she literally was like, he's like, anyway, animal sacrifice. And she's like, hmm. she anyway. can go like, I don't know, sacrifice something else. I know. Why would you ever think? I know it was a new cat, clearly. Yeah, a baby. When Justin Long literally is like. Oh, my. What? I don't know. How am I supposed to? Cats come and go. I'm like, I was. Ba- he was like, okay. What? She's like, Jennifer, <laughs> they come and they go. I, from Boys where? Boys are just 
placeholders. What they come you go? and they go Ow. from Jennifer's body. She's Stop. like, I don't know. Cats That's are funny. just there. And he's like, but how am what? I supposed to know? And he's like, what do you mean hat? Uh, I like how he caught it. So he's me like, yeah, too. I was ready for him to either discover when he got there, but they, that was an even better mm-hmm. way for them to do it where he's just like, what do you mean hat? She, you, what, have a cat. you have a cat. Uh, I don't know. And he's like, also, oh, she's okay. so shady about it. She's like, how am I supposed to know? That's what I'm saying. Like, you, I'm like why couldn't she just said, oh, I gave her away. Or even she got at that moment, been like, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I do. And then later on be like, I don't know what she, she ran is. away. Yeah, I don't know. You know, That's, man, <laughs> again, it just made her me. I feel like Justin Long was fighting for his. I know she was fighting for her life. But it felt like he was fighting for his life in this film. Like, <laughs> like literally the fact. OK, I'm sorry. So many things happen that are gross in this film, obviously. <laughs> But when that fly flew out of her mouth at the dinner table when they were all when eating. When she coughed it out. And the mom, the perfect reactions because that's exactly, like they're over there <laughs> the like getting along. Like, She's <laughs> like, oh my God. You know, and he's like, are you okay? Dad is like, oh. he's just happy to be there. <laughs> like, I, I know. Can't. I felt bad though because I loved how the mom, like she's, I, there's a lot going on. But she I was like not how, great. Yeah, but I like how she was kind of like, thank you for being honest for once. Like that was refreshing. And I was like, I mean, it seems like in their world, they're just the type of people who are like, we can't be vulnerable and we have to keep yeah. up appearances. So she's like, oh, you're actually not just trying to like sit here and impress us or be a certain way. Yeah. Exactly. Which if she had given her a chance. Right. You were over there. On, mm, I, to be fair, she didn't know she was listening to her on the phone, but. Yeah. And then Justin's like, well, mom, I, uh, which at that part I was like, can you just. I know. I thought it was going to set the tone better. that he was going to be like, okay, I'm going to dump her. Or, oh, okay. Like, don't worry. I don't know. Oh, I wanted him to stick up for her. Well, more. yeah, that too. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just was thinking this is going to set the tone for how he is as a boyfriend. Yeah. But I then, think that's you know, why we were like surprised. We were like, oh, okay. He's not like we're that. Because like, literally even when she first is cursed. And he takes her to the psychic. Yeah. He's like no like i'll just take you home like i'll read your fortune which i was yeah. like cute like whatever. he was doing all these things and yeah you're just like and then i'm like bro are you just gonna dismiss the fact the that whole she feels time this way? like the whole time i was gonna be like are you gonna be this way and you're yeah. gonna be th- the obstacle and you're gonna <laughs> die obstacle. until yeah until you know and but then he's like that character that's literally like i don't want to be here but anyway let me help make it happen yeah. for you he's like and you're like but oh, it's important to you yeah and i'm like <sighs> justin you see, you see. clay clay Stop for God. Clay. I think his name is Clayton. Because remember, Clayton. my mom's like Clayton. Pow. Wait, no, Clayton. Pow. Pow. Clayton. Fascinating. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always think of him when I think of Clayton. It's so funny. Pow. But, uh, yeah. So, back to the scene in the car. Because it's right after she's like, this woman that cursed her also didn't seem like, she's not like evil incarnate. Like she's just I know. Somebody, I felt really bad for her at the I beginning. Know. I was at the like, beginning, oh, even though obviously I knew she was going to be the... Two things. I do feel like it took it... This is not real. It's fine. It's, it doesn't have to be realistic. But in my head, I was like, okay, well, now you're just taking it really far. Like, it's not like... This is something you do to someone who literally, like, is an evil person that did you wrong. Like, go do it to a corporate... Like, I don't know. That someone, like, literally, like, yeah, she took your home. But, like, also... As much as the niece, it's valid. Yeah, that's awful. But also, she did have a place to stay. Like, she could stay with her niece. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm never going to do that. I'm not going to put her out like I that. I know. And it was like, wait. Like, not that this isn't a bad situation or that it wasn't the right, just like that she was wrong. I understand. I mean, she's yeah. like, this is my home. Like, no, I get it. She yeah. Want- she doesn't want that to happen and i wonder if she was able to go to like another bank at all well i guess her money her thing was with that bank i yeah. don't know how that works then and they i don't even know how it works either because obviously they'd given her like what four extensions or something or three. she's like we've already given her some another thing I that know, i wanted I to say was that i thought that the boss was gonna be an asshole Me and he too. was so not that and i was like but he still was gonna give the promotion to the guy. Well, yeah, he because was an asshole he, in the sense that, that he was like over there, like, can you just oh blah blah blah? And I'm like, the other guy was like, yeah, like okay, he was that feeding guy was into horrible. it. Yeah, but, I know. Well, one, but he was like kind. Yeah, like, he, he was wasn't at least nice to her. Like, I feel like he wasn't yeah. meaning to be an asshole. But then yeah. all the, the who I thought he was gonna be was not mm-hmm. who he was. That's and true. And then when he did give the promotion, he's like, I'm gonna have to give it to. Cl- yeah, like, that was more Stu, like he and he's like, I just back against the wall kind of thing. Yeah, he was nice to her. I think that he was like gullible well one first of all the fact that he was like well yeah i know he just started like yesterday but like you know he'll do what he's like a bumbling what, kind like, of boss where you're like really like he's just seeing what's happening as he's just like to an like, innocent yeah guy but i'm just like it's not perfect okay but no, what i'm saying is you, that he wasn't you. i thought he was gonna be i just like hated how he was when he talked with the guy and they were both like yeah can you go get pick us that like they both i know fell again into that it's another yeah. thing of him instead of sticking up for her yeah he was just like i don't know just watching it happen yeah and you're like what but i take it back and the, I, an I do wonder i was thinking he was gonna be the one though that said no cut her off but he gave her that option obviously to be like 
it's up to you. Like if you give her an extension or not. And obviously she's wanting to impress him. And by saying like, I'm going to put my foot down. Mm-hmm. I wanted, <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to happen, but I kept thinking of the scene. And I know it's an insurance thing, but the thing from The Incredibles where he's like, no, mm-hmm. Mrs. Blah, blah, blah. Go down the left hall. Yeah. To the right. <laughs> Turn more. Don't go up and blah, blah. Ask them. Sign this. And mm-hmm. she's like, uh-huh. And he's like, no, cry. <laughs> but it's sad because, yeah, I don't know what was like it would have been nice if she'd given him her another extension but also like again the punishment speaking of my boy Theodore we weren't speaking of him but I was thinking of him <laughs> speaking like of it no, no the punishment I didn't know you were gonna the say. punishment doesn't fit the crime crime and punishment crime and I am punishment. crime I am crime punishment. I am punishment. Crime and punishment are closely acquaintances. <laughs> we have some Bungo Stray Dogs brain rot right now always yeah as but usual the, Anyway, he was on my head. I'm like, speaking of, and I'm like, we weren't speaking of him. We're but I was thinking of him. of them. And does I? Don't. 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 <laughs> but softly. Whisper softly. Don't. Well, I was going to say is the crime was bad. Okay? Like, it was a, cr- a crime of morals. Okay? Who, what are we talking about again? <laughs> what crime? <laughs> that she commit uh, the, the crime. I was saying before that you're the talking about Theodore, but I don't remember which crime you're talking about. <laughs> Stevie just accepts at this point when I just bring him up. Mm. She's like, I didn't have to relate. It just, it just was, she was bringing him up. And I'm like, no, no, I promise I, I had to do. I genuinely was like, okay, we're just, yeah, we're just going with it. Crime. No, because I was trying to say that the punishment, like the crime, the punishment doesn't match the crime. Like she's over there doing a moral, oh, like she did yeah. a moral crime, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the punishment was like, dramatic. anyway, oh, go to hell. And it's like, dramatic. I understand the distraught, like, I understand the woman, I, I get it, but also, like, I feel like if I had the ability to curse people like that, I would have been a little bit more picky of how, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Anyway, and also because there was no way to undo it, usually with those kind of things, I feel well, like there's... it was another, it was one of those, like, pass it on, I or guess. that's it, but it wasn't in the rules. Right? Nobody said anything about that. But even if she, like, atoned in a certain way, it like... clearly it didn't work. <sighs> Well, because it was a mess up, not because it would well, have Well, because worked. she gave it to, well, she gave it to him, but she didn't. She has to be like, I am giving you this gift. And she didn't. He just accidentally took it. Meaning, yeah, she didn't do it right. Right, because she was supposed to put it in her. <laughs> she was supposed to gift it back to her. I know, but she, she I was saying, she had the button. I was saying like she gave it to Justin Long, but she didn't actually give it to him. He oh, just yeah, took it. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, though, what she was trying to do was not give it to him, right? She was trying to. No, do, yeah. yeah. That's what I, I mean. Like, like she, didn't, she didn't say it out loud, like. Oh, yeah, no. so it didn't get passed to him. Nah, she still But it would have worked possession. to pass it back to her. But not physically. Her. But it would have been working. It yeah. would have worked if she had passed it, but she put the button or the coin instead of the button. <sighs> Which my mom was literally like, we knew that there was a reason mm-hmm. that she got it mixed up because my mom was like, mm-hmm. she's going to have dropped it. But then we're like, no, it's in there. And we didn't even remember the coin. So my mom was like, well, it's in there. And she's like, but why hasn't she opened it up to look at it? Maybe it's just the imprint oh, of the it. Whole, that's why the whole time I was like, Justin Long has the fucking coin and I was yelling at him like mom if he freaking dies and she's like just staring at me because obviously she knows what's gonna happen and I was like I'm gonna be so mad if we watch all of this and he dies and then he dies because he has the coin because obviously that's the whole point of the fake but see I I thought that the coin I forgot about the coin and I just uh, thought that she was gonna have accidentally just left the button in the bottom of his car mm. and then what she was holding up which you would have felt it obviously but we were like maybe it's just the imprint of it but why didn't she open it to be like because oh, she it didn't is. know that he she did, forgot that he put it at the, the beginning coin. which obviously why would she know that he had that i mean didn't she saw it uh, okay. no she yeah at the beginning he he put it in the envelope in his bag which all is set up for it which like mm-hmm. okay but also but see <laughs> you I just, and your mom were like oh yeah we were like wait a minute we know that they we were not gonna mess it up it's but, okay I just, yeah. Either you, way. I thought that she was going to find out a, a way, like yeah. when she went to the house, like when she went and you find out that the old lady died. And it sucks because like the niece is like, uh, look what you did, kind of, or like, or she's more like blah. She like, she's looks more, familiar too. Yeah, I but her. she's more just like, anyway, you can come say hi. And then it's literally awake. And she's like, yeah, look what you did. Like kind of like being I very. I felt like she was and I felt like she was like. She's just one of those people who are like blase, what, yeah, but she yeah. was not like treating it like it didn't mean anything. Like to me, no, I no, felt like I felt she like was she like was genuinely upset about. Yeah, the, she was like the woman, like about her. I just meant more like it's more like yeah, you're cursed. Like there's nothing I'm going to do about it. And you're like, well, you know she's what like, the curse is. Yeah, you get what you deserve. I guess it's her so. freaking. Apparently, their family is like you yeah. get what you give. And she's even over there this like makes. Sense. I know. And then she's like, yeah, look what you did, and like you blah 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 and you let an old lady like get kicked out of her one home and all that stuff and And, like like, it's more so it sounds more like yeah it's more sounds like she's like ooh, you lost your job because of it okay that you deserve it as opposed to like you get everything you deserve which is literally getting sent to hell and i'm Mm -hmm. just like 
okay this this girl's she knows what she's about and i'm just like anyway it's she a lot it's literally intense. was like it just feels very a lot she seemed like she was just like i'm full of anger and you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. are gonna feel it through my dead grandmother or aunt <laughs> this is yeah it's a lot too because it wasn't just like the movie starts with somebody else having the curse and it's the little boy remember oh my god and it's sad oh, because his is innocent sad. that's innocent a little yeah. boy stealing a jewel that's the thing it's just because they're what the psychic tells her is like a gypsy thing so mm. it's like the gypsies are not to be well i watched something with that um, i also don't know uh, well that's what they say they never, right they, do they say they that they're say, gypsies. do they say that in this movie yeah a couple oh. times but i don't i also don't know if I don't know about the phrase gypsy. Like the or term, what, especially for yeah. this movie and when it t- came out. I don't know if they were just I don't using know, but that. But they did say that. But I'm mm-hmm. in this world is what they're saying is like, oh, gypsies. And it rem- I'm just there like, was okay. like a, there was a movie about that with like where it was that kind of curse, but instead it was a werewolf curse. Mm-hmm. Did you watch that? A little Red Riding Hood. No, no. But it was that thing where like the kids, <clears throat> the parents stole stuff. Wait, is that what stuff. it's called? Is that what it's called? Little Red, Red Riding Hood? I, Red Ride, uh, I think it's called the Red one that Riding we Hood. Watch. Yeah, Red Riding Hood, the one I love mm-hmm. with them. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's just called Red Riding Hood, oh, not okay. Little. But <laughs> she's she, an adult. She's an adult. <laughs> but then the movie that I don't know what this one was called, but it was like a similar thing. And I, it's I, again, I don't know if they use the word gypsy in that movie, but it's like what they're trying to imply. But we're saying this because we don't know if that's like a yeah. proper term. Obviously. Yeah, we don't know if it's a proper term, but it's what they used in the movie. Yeah, but and and this one it was a similar thing where it was like they were stealing the land from them <clears> as <throat> people do, <clears throat> and they were like stealing stuff, and so they punished those parents that did all of that, like the colonizers, and they were basically having their children turn into werewolves and get cursed. Like, what movie was this? I don't know what the name was, and it was this oh, whole you, thing that you, until it wasn't it in Trick or Treat. Remember mm-hmm. that happened. Also, yeah, but not this. This was oh, like a thing okay. where it literally was set in the 1800s mm-hmm. where like they were killing these people on the land, taking their jewels and the thing they had. And then they're like, well, now that you've taken our jewels, we're cursing you. And they're like, whatever. And they like kill them. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, the people who pay for it, though, technically, I mean, the parents suffer from it, but their kids are the ones who are getting, <sighs> turning into werewolves. Yeah. And they like turn into them by like becoming them. And then they are inside of a weird, be- it's like a whole, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And but the way out of it, and I wish I knew what movie this, this is, because now I'm like spoiling it. But like <laughs> the whole thing is that there is a cure and it's the fact that like the parents need to die for the children to atone. Like you, like the one of the moms like takes a bullet for the kid and because they're trying to kill this werewolf and she instead doesn't get out of the way. And she's like, no, like I'll die for him to not let, you know, that's how they figure it out. And that's how, and then the boy turns back into a human and her, the mom gets to see that happen. But when it's like, that's the whole thing that it's like the, like people who curse them were kind of like, there is a way out. You just need to not be these awful selfish people that you were by taking. And cause now you have to do the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. The ultimate of, like, sacrifice. Giving your life for yeah. somebody. And yeah. so then the kid, it's just wild. It was a good, not a great film, but it was like good. It sounds like an interesting premise. Who was in it? I'm going to, too bad we no. don't know but will you sh- and also we now know what happened but but there's way more in it there's know. way more now I sounds mean, like an interesting it was on like netflix concept. or something we just like randomly watched it hmm. Hmm. not this time i watched it like a few like a visit before so like that's why i don't yeah, remember so the name. recently not this visit but the recent yeah so it was like this year within the year yeah, yeah or something over the holidays maybe and i just i'll find the name i'll find the name we'll figure it out we'll tell you we'll tell you mm. anyway yeah but th- that's why i was just kind of like this is harsh but also that's the way of the game with this film they're just like anyway you're going to hell it is called drag me to hell i don't know why my, as soon as it ended my dad was like well why am <laughs> they i shocked did what they he's said. like why am i gasping <laughs> i i was gonna say something else too mm. hmm. about um, well i really also liked sorry no, tell I'm me, like, tell me. Well, well, this isn't what I was going to say, I don't think. But we've got the psychic and he's chill. And I've seen him before. Yes, he's from a few things. But yeah. where exactly do we I'm know him sure. from? I'm not sure. He seems... He reminds me of a scientist or something yeah, from something, something that's like bumbling around. Click his name. Let's look it up. Click Hold his on. name. Hold there he on. is. We know. We know he's from oh, Avatar. He's an av- wait, I rem- oh, he, wait, he is what a is scientist. It? What? What? It's what? all the ones that are planned, you know? Is that not for, out yet. That's not for the... That's yeah. this Avatar? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He's, He's the avatar. scientist. I do remember. I was like, I, I know knew that it. these ones are planned, but then I thought this was no, the other avatar. And I was like, like cause you know because how they're, they're making all elemental that one as well. Though? But you know how they're making more mm-hmm. of that other avatar too. The Airbender. avatar. But it's Last because Airbender. this blue people avatar is also turning into like elements. Yeah, I saw you know? that instead of like doing like water just, which I'm like. And fire. How you know? dare. <laughs> how dare you infringe on 
the but Avatar. It's funny because he really does have the vibe of like, I was like, I knew he was a scientist, mm-hmm. something, but then he also kind of keeps that vibe of just being a knowledgeable person. He's You're also like, an exception. Wait, I'm... Is he also... He was the one that had to go pee and he's driving the car or <laughs> he's in the car. Remember I that? I feel like I don't... No, because I, 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 I saw it once in the theater, but I don't remember him. We do talk about this because we got to watch do. it again because it's so good, Stevie. I mm-hmm. love Inception. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, people, I think, generally like it, but just saying. He's always just <laughs> somebody... Do, yeah. He's always somebody kind of always just running around being like, he's like, oh, okay, ah, I'll do this. I love him. Ah. Yeah, he has a good vibe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he was also... I thought he was going to stop being helpful. But then he stayed helpful. Yeah. He's like, I'll go with you. Let's go. I know. You know? I liked him. I like his character a lot. Because they tie the beginning of the film with this little boy who gets cursed. That's how we got into this thing. Because it's like this little boy who clearly is like an innocent. Like he's a child. And he stole some like a jewel or something. And then he's cursed. Literally dragged to hell. Open hell. And that's I'm like, sad. that's. I like the woman who great. played. Um, I, I don't remember what her name is and she's not like a but she's the one who's going to perform like the mm-hmm, exorcism and mm-hmm. stuff like that and i liked her in her younger form in her older form oh yeah that was cool and i like and not, then that I was like, cool i liked her and i also like how they tied back to it because i'm like yeah. oh yeah like the, they set up so much the i know i the forgot movie that comes back later i was like oh is nice. she gonna be and then like and then she gives an exa- like an explanation of her mm-hmm. home and like her husband bought it or like made it so that they could be like, I don't know. Like it was a whole thing. And I was like, okay. And the thing that took me out though is when she, they're doing like a seance with it and she has her, like, I think they, we are supposed to like, it's like her nephew or something. The guy that's like, oh, with her. He? Yeah, I think at one point calls her like aunt or something, or I don't know, or like Tia or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, somebody uh, said something. I, that. I did too, but I was reading the trivia and he calls her either something I don't know if he's he like Tia or something. Yeah, he's like Tia or Thi-thi. something or Titi. Maybe something like uh, like slang, you know. But because I didn't hear him say Tia, but I didn't did. either. Maybe he did. Anyway, <laughs> but um, either way, it's her little, you know. And she clearly cares when he was getting like, and then he's okay. But but the goat <laughs> when he's talking, I can't. the way she's like, lay your hand on the goat. And the goat's like, hey. <laughs> and the goat's like, I don't want your stupid cat. Don't touch me. I know oh that God. is a lot. And then the cat, cat gets regurgitated. Wait, when? When he's like, I don't want your stupid cat. Remember? I must have turned away. And then he throws up the cat. Oh, body. I don't. I'm, I turned away from that. Yeah. Maybe you watched the unrated one, Maybe. and I did. I don't even remember the you know cat when he, being when the guy's like floating. Yeah, above her. yeah. It was probably because I was going. I, I, You're like, what's well, happening? He, You're floating. He like. threw, I know. I've ascended. I am Pooh Bear above it all. <laughs> like, I, maybe he did throw up, and I was just like, I, that looks like nothing to me. It was just like bleh, saliva and like a little cat. Maybe body. I did see that. There was a lot. Oh, we to were going to talk in. more about the cat. Well, maybe we said what needed to be said. You're like, <laughs> what put a pin in it. Said? Well, it was just sad. my thing is, I was even more shocked that that was not her last resort. Like. Not that it should have ever. Like, go find a go find a goat. Like, literally, no, don't kill it. I know I love goats, but also like the she goes from like I'm a vegan. I like she goes from literally acting. I volunteer at the puppy shelter. Yeah, too. Anyway, let me slaughter it. Like, that was like a she night and real day. Quick. And yeah. Then, okay, I like how she Justin Long comes home and she's like, Oops. he's like, is that blood? And she's like, what? And she's like, oh no, I was just cutting tomatoes. And then I... I'm like was so ready for why him wouldn't to point you just say so oh stuff. I yeah. cut my I thought she was gonna say I was cutting something in the kitchen and i cut myself instead i she guess said he would have juice. wanted to see the cut maybe or been like are you okay that's true but to ma- <laughs> but why not beets? that's true <laughs> why not beets tomatoes beets. they're like clear, yeah tomatoes like- wouldn't have that kind of color you're Unless like, it was you got the, me there. Yeah, she got me there. Had have cut, had had Where's cut. the evidence? <laughs> but he's he like, was, where? Oh. Every time I thought he was going to have the moment of, not just because in the beginning, he's obviously like, what are you talking about? Then he's like, you're just having a trauma response. Like, you're having all this. But every time I thought Which he was going to. Which valid. Do, yeah. And, he, and then she even believes that where she's like, you know what? But then the times when I think he's going to like be like, okay, this is taking it too far or like she'll say something or if she was going to be like, or what's the blood? And he's like, okay, now you're officially like something, you know, he never did even after at her, his parents, like she's still, I he's mean, he's like, but I need to help her. And they're like, but then at the same time, I'm like, Justin. boy, you better run. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> they're sometimes he seems like one of those people that's like, you know, he's got they're going to be there for somebody to their own detriment. And yeah. I don't, want that for him i know and i'm like you need to find for that character you and know? it's so like, sad because he literally i feel like they were like no and it's like he, she's he gonna drag you down glasses right and she's literally gonna drag you down into hell but she didn't <laughs> but she didn't into hell that was sad though because they literally the ending gives them such like a happy looking moment and i was like the way he happen. looks at her like he's so in love and i do I love know. when he's like I re-, she's like you remember the day you fell in love with me he's like i remember the second i fell in love with you and i was like I 
And it sucks though because he's like, you're such a good person. And I'm like, because she yeah. does own up to when him. When she though. goes, oh, I need to let you know that actually like I could have. And it was on me. And he's like, you're you such look so good- beautiful right now. You're such a great person. And, and I'm she's like, like, thanks. Anyway. I know. And I'm like, she's like, anyway, carry on. And I'm like, she's not. But it's true. Like what you said where you're like, does this really fit? crime because no saying. obviously like, she's not but also she's not like she's not great the worst like what would you the worst. is the moral of this story just i don't know like con- like <laughs> like what is the consequences of your actions i guess like but that's be not careful the who you cross yeah that's creepy and then it's not uh, creepy that, it's not creepy that like you know but then your like, actions have consequences obviously but like thinking of like you you can't you could just like mess up or not have your best day and then like somebody's gonna curse you to uh, this random demon it was more deliberate though that she's like although the little kid was not but hers is like i'm making this choice to take and it was away. a selfish thing i would have liked where she to was have like known, this will help me even yeah. though it's not it's gonna hurt you I would and have liked i know to have known, i'm assuming the woman knew she made the decision and her boss didn't like she had to have known right or she figured it out Again, the woman when she, she pushed went, her down because she's like, <laughs> but yeah, because she was getting oh, aggressive though, right? He, or she was begging and like kissing her oh, skirt, and that's then she right, like, that's right. She's like, no, and she's and like, that's when she actually got pissed. Me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It it's wasn't like, about her turning her down. It was she more so her. that she shamed her, and she's like, I come here, and then you shame me in front you of her. Shamed me, and I, I like, begged you, and you shamed me. Like, and what was she supposed to do? Be like, I'm so sorry, miss or ma'am. Like, I can't. We can't. And then she would have been like. I don't know. Yeah, like she's like you shame, and then well, she, I guess it's kind of like with the with the niece where she's like, "You're gonna lie to my face." Like they must right? have some sort some of like kind of yeah other. But also, what is sight. did the curse like affect? Like was that her in the car with her, or was that the curse like basically manifesting itself? As oh, the I woman? think that was her. But she literally has like special because abilities? she was like. I'm going to take your... I guess she broke oh, into the right. car. Oh, that's right. The curse didn't start until Yeah, and so she took the, the button that's and right. she's like, you're going to come button. begging to that's me. That's right. Oh, yeah. She's time. like, next it'll be you begging me. And she did, but she was dead. That was messed up. I'm like, and she did. Oh, yeah. But that was... That car scene, I mean, all of it's messed up, but that car oh, scene... Oh, yeah. You were going to say something about it. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> now I don't know what to say. <laughs> what is there to say? It's genuinely like... That it hasn't set, been said. That really set the tone of just the ridiculousness. Like, she is like... This, this woman, is a silly movie because is. I think about too when she like, like you said, well, you know, finish what you were saying because I was going to. No, I was just saying there's so many things like it sets the tone because it's like you, you think it's not going to keep going far and it does. Like she literally knocks out her freaking dentures, jams. And they the, do like, that like see them flying yeah. type of. And then also earlier and when she's eating her? the candy at the at the desk and she just like takes all her teeth out and is like eating oh my gosh it was like in the nails in the nails and then ugh it wasn't a scary the film. blood stuff was messed up too I was like please the like, blood just... yeah and, and she's they just all like, saw that and like, just like the come boss, back later boss did I get like, it on me did I get any of it is it on my face and I'm like sir if someone projects is it in my mouth is that what he said yeah, is it so, in my yeah. mouth I'm like, sir, reminded me of Linda in Bob's story because every time something happens, she goes, oh, my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my face. It's t- That's funny. I love her. It's truly like, I feel like that scene, everyone saw that happen. If I saw someone projectile vomit that much blood at work, I, like, why are they not? <laughs> nobody called the cops. Nobody said, hey, you nobody need to go the to the ambulance. ambulance. They're like, maybe you should go home I mean, for the, the cops, day. The but like, maybe you should go home for the day. Like... <laughs> He's this like, woman literally just vomited she goes, up I, her. I gotta go. She literally just upchucked her organs. What like, they needed I to don't... do was shut down the place. You don't know what that yeah, blood has. Exactly. You need to I was call like, the you're covered in it. CDC. The CDC cover. Call somebody because you are literally covered in possibly a toxin. I think of the CDC and I just picture the twenty three nineteen. <laughs> okay. Twenty three nineteen. An appropriate response. Shut the place down. That's an appropriate response. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't want to be here. I need and to get Stu. inspected. And can we talk about Stu? He was horrible. I hated him, obviously. Oh, yeah, but then it was like, but even that, even she knew that he didn't deserve to be cursed. Yeah, like but she- he still crossed her at the end. Remember after she let him go, she's like, okay, I'm not going to curse you. And then he threw her under the bus because he's the one who like sold out all the, tried to like I thought sell. that was before. No, it was after because after she like, she was like, oh, I'm free from the curse. And then she gets a call from her boss being like, hey. Yeah, and then I thought that's why she called Stu. Because she was like, I know. No, no, no. That was after. Because he was like, and when you come back on Monday, you get the promotion. It was right before she went to the to the train. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she let him go. And then she was like, he's like, hey, 
Um, so there was an issue and we found out that Stu's the one who sold the information oh. and the way that we found it out was because he tried to blame it on you. Oh, that part. Yeah, that it's part. that she knew that he was already going to do she that. Knew, That's yeah. what she knew. I was like, wait, she and does she know. The go. whole point is that yeah, she saw yeah, the paper. Yeah, yeah. But the but boss it, But him out. being like, it was me that out. did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I mean that it was her that did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Okay, you're you right. And she's just like, like, she's okay, like, yeah. And he's like, anyway. Uh, we, to be fair, though, he did not think he was, she meant like curse, curse. And not to be fair, he's not I don't think she knew. But he, he didn't know because he, he was. She's like, "You're gonna take this thing, and then it's gonna be yours." Yeah. And he's like, "And he's okay. like, okay." And he's like, like he, he didn't, didn't even know, know. what it was. That yeah, she was so giving. he's like, "I can just still cross her anyway." Because he's like, she, "He didn't." But in his way, head, he's like, "What the hell is she gonna get?" He's me? like, "You probably shouldn't work here anyway. Like, what are you doing? What, what are you on right going now? On? What's, what's going on? What's going okay. On? But yeah, that he was. There was a lot of random things where I was just like. And I'm like, Stu? Stu? It's three in the morning. Worst kind Why of are you stew? making chocolate pudding? <laughs> Why are you That's at this diner? I've lost Why? control of my life. I can't. Literally, though. Literally. Him. Shows up at 3 a.m. at that diner, and she's like, anyway, I'm going to curse. The stew? fact, though, again, her, she just would be like, I'm just questioning. I'm side-eyeing her the whole time because she's like, that woman <laughs> about to pour uh, that the may, coffee. I want a Sunday. Is there a diner? You've been talking about Sundays for the I last know. few days. Let's go to a diner after this. We're going to a diner. We're going to go to a diner. Where well, we're going to see spider We go to a diner first, though, and then spider at 10 p.m. Listen, and then, <laughs> but at the diner, when the woman just says something and she's like, I can curse you. And I was like, girl, is that what she it? said? Oh, she, she said, was like, like, I'm going to give you a tip. You'll never forget. Yeah. And she's like, she would randomly, okay. if she was feisty like that, the whole movie I'd get it. or not feisty. I don't know. But she just would randomly come out of nowhere being like, listen here, bitch. And I'm just like, did they make her? Okay, I hate when they do this where they have them be like, oh, she was like a chubby child. And that's why she's in like, she's not as confident or outgoing like is that why they had that because you know how she's just kind of like i see okay and i'm not saying mm-hmm. that somebody shouldn't be confident but no, i feel no, like yeah. that was a trope of like the early 2000s You'd of think, like though, that it would be oh, that she was you know and then like yeah. she although they didn't really Maybe, but they never yeah touch they never on talked it. about it's it after weird. that like i don't understand hello 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 well I don't it's know. like I again can't knock it because it was a fun time. Oh, I was gonna say because we were talking about how like it's like funny and outrageous, and you're just like, what the hell is going on, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that there were like little scenes like that. Like I think about when she kicks the woman out of the car the first time, and then she like <laughs> slams her head into the thing to like look. <laughs> like, she like presses her head against the window in a way that I was like, that's so goofy. It like why so would she do that? Goofy like is that? such a real is yeah. A good term I guess for it's this. like a goofy. It feels like horror. such a, a goofy movie. Oops, a goofy movie. It's I two. Wait, ready? It's I two I. I just poked myself in the eye. You're like, I, I, too, I, too, I, man. I'm trying to think if there was another part too. I was just, was it when the shovel almost hit her, almost like decapitated her, but didn't? Who? Oh. When, it, remember when she's like trying to get something from that shed or something? Oh, and then oh, like the and shovel, the anvil thing comes down. Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Who was in there with her? Did she see the, the lady. old woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The lady. Me, who there. could it be? The woman. Who? She's like another, again, that's why even after she's dead, it's like. Over well, and over, she just sees like that. Whatever that thing is, the whole thing. Oh, is she's the seeing curse, the representation. Of yeah, her, what yeah, was like the curse? Spirit. What is it called? The thing that he's like, it's coming to get you. Yeah, the something. Well, it's like a demon, but, but he's they like gave it a, a name, and I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, it's like not Bagul, but like yeah, stop. <laughs> but it, I was gonna say too is that he's like a a goat. Stop. You know, I like hate a, that. That's like a connotation. It's always like a goat. I know. I, don't I like hate it. that. Like in the witch. Don't. Did you see that? Did you no, I watched the Cinema Sins. Long time ago, and basically watched it through that, and I was like, I can never watch this film. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, can you cut that, sir? But, uh, but said, we might have to cut. We this, might have to cut this, but I'm gonna get a surf and turf. Right, but, why would we have to? <laughs> make sure you cut that. Why would well, I don't we? No, it's a little that. extravagant. I can't. <laughs> I can't. No, don't cut that. Did you get that on the mall? His little I can't. face. Someone was like, Please I'm like Jason Bateman. I, I too get angry at everything or something. And I was like, I can't. Yeah, make sure we cut that. He was so irritated. I'm like, are you not just I Michael from yeah. Arrested he's Development? He's every. He's always. He's the he's straight man. The he's the same. dry character. But he's. Anyway, he just mm, <laughs> Sly like, Fox, wow. dumb bunny. But okay, but the thing is, I watched it through Cinema Sins back in the day, 
or whenever it came out, whatever, and I was just like, I can't, I can never watch this film. Because don't say the names, don't say the, no, I don't even want to talk about it, actually. You know what, I want to talk about it. What, the witch? Yeah, no, because it's too messed up, but I know the part you're talking about, obviously, with the goat. With the goat. Well, it's, it's in a lot of, like, It's everywhere, yeah, it's it's always a a satanic thing. A satanic thing. And it's always, like, that thing that comes to get you that's, like, with goat, hooves. Hooves are always. Krampus. Stop. Yeah. But there's a thing, it's, like, (laughs) anytime something is hooved. Stop! They're just goats. I love goats. I love ba- Norwegian goats in onesies. I told you about that time that I went to the tractor depot. What the hell is the name of that thing? Tractor. Tractor. Tra- tractor depot. What is that? There's that a store that's like called the tractor something. Tractor supply. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I oh, did you know it? Yeah, I've heard of that, but I didn't know tractor depot. <laughs> It's not that, but it's funny that it's like if I'm like, you know, home yeah, store. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Oh, tractor supply. Uh, well, it's different. Home it's like, Depot. Yeah, oh. see, Home Depot makes more. I would not guess Home Depot from you saying home no. store. I would have thought home goods. I would have thought home goods. So. No, it's just funny. You're like, oh, tractor and supply. And at first, when you said tractor, um, what did you say first? Tractor what? Tractor store. If I you thought, wanted it, you should have gone at the hamburger I store. But I think it, at first I thought you were talking about like going to like an event with tractors or like, the, oh. which is not at all what a store is, but I was like, oh yeah, I can't. That's the so event, oh, the yeah, tractor, yeah, tractor like, the, like a monster truck rally thing, yeah. you know? It just sounds funny. So random. I'm like, what? No. Tractor supply. But well, yeah, they, they uh, oh, all that to say, I, I went there once and I got, um, <laughs> I saw <laughs> this woman was there with her family and they had like three little oh, baby it was scary. goats. Sorry. Okay. No. Sorry, I don't know what I was waiting for. <laughs> they had Norwegian goats in onesies, which is like my dream. And I literally was like, <gasps> and the one was like holding it like this. And she's like, they're a handful. It's like those. I remember following like a like lunch to Instagrams like, back in the day so where they she would just have yeah. rescue goats, and that was like such a thing. Uh, you see, anyway. You see. Anyway, what goats is, what, are innocent. What is your favorite part of this movie? Like what's Justin a scene? Long. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, okay, Justin Long, of course. Um, a scene that was the best. I'm telling you though, I really did enjoy the car scene as much as it was awful to watch i felt like it if the movie had kept up with every scene being that dynamic oops, that dynamic like i feel like and it did keep us entertained obviously but i just feel like i wish everything had been just as that as ridiculous like non-stop you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i mean you know breathers but um i think i just wanted well you didn't ask me what i would change you just asked me what my favorite parts were justin long <laughs> and that scene we'll but say I liked, that next we'll say that next and i like his i don't know i i I thought, again, I thought that that really helped make it feel like less just like, okay, these are people this is happening to. Like he was really a good glue for the film, making it feel like I enjoyed every time he was on screen. Like he made her more likable. And then because you're seeing her through his eyes. And he was just, I just am so glad he got to live. (laughs) Yeah, we'll talk about the ending in a second. But I, my favorite part was when she goes to this, when she's literally like, I've decided I'm going to give this fucking button to this fucking lady. <laughs> and she figures out that she can give it to somebody who has deceased. Yeah, yeah. Recently. And give it back to and her. And so she goes to the cemetery. That whole part in the cemetery, mm-hmm. it's like she came alive and she was a different person. And that I loved true. that. That's so scene. real, though. Like, her driving there, her being, try- like, being the attacked by the freaking, like, remember how that thing attacks her? The, like, um, cloth. You know how the lady's oh, always coughing? Yeah. Oh my that gosh. That thing when she gets to the cemetery. It's like when a she's magic like, carpet all over her bitch. face. It's like flying. Because she like sees her and she like it's comes It's funny in. that you say that because it's funny that you say that and you call it a, a, a magic carpet because when um, in the Have You Seen episode when they mm-hmm. covered it, Aaron was like, it, he said that it was like the magic carpets. That's funny. Cousin. Like yeah, evil cousin. Yeah, because it literally was, was over like, there like suffocating her and the way yeah. it moved. It felt like it could like, be like, what's up, rug man? Give me some tassa. Give me some tassa. <laughs> it's been Which, a couple of millennia. I feel like we quote that every day. <laughs> every day. And it's always good. Because it's literally just the tassa. 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 But yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that was good. She literally, it felt like that's how I wanted her determination to be the whole movie. And it just... And for her to just keep running into walls the whole time being like, I can't do this now. But she was always like, it felt like she would be more determined, like again, with the cat way too soon. And then it felt like she kind of chilled out for a bit being like, well, I got to do this. And it's like, girl. And then I just, you're right. She came alive. These hills sing. No, but she did come alive. (laughs) You're right. And then she came alive only to to crash and burn literally. Literally. Because what happens at the end, she goes to meet Justin Long. (laughs) And he's like, you, sorry, my headphones just said low battery. Oh, no. And I said, 
It's okay. Hold okay. on just a little bit I longer. I can hear. Yeah. I, it went all mute and I was like, I can't hear. You're like, excuse me. Anyway. So, and then Justin Long is like you said, he's like, you hung the moon, like the way he looks at her. And then they're going to like go away on their summer trip together or whatever they're going on. Oh yeah. She buys a new coat, which I literally, when I saw her get the coat, I was like, okay, I guess she, this is me watching it. <laughs> this is me. This is me. This, no. this is me. Watch, watch, watch. No, this is me. I was like, <laughs> what am I doing? My best. No. Ah! Um. Anyways, but when you um, saw her get the coat, you so what? I see her get the coat, and I literally was like, "Okay, I guess she's gonna get a new coat." I literally wasn't even like the whole thing was that she took the button from the coat, the woman, and I'm sitting there like, "Wait, I didn't." All right, she's getting a new either. coat, I guess, I for her. Tri- yeah, a cute coat reminds me. Wait, of... Wait, so the whole point? What are you? You're saying that the you know whole when thing... she goes and she's like, "Please open this." Yeah, please, like I want to get this because coat. she needs a new coat. Like, Is that what you're saying? She needs. Well, she's like. It's a symbolic thing of her being yeah, like, yeah. I'm throwing out this right. cursed coat. Because she literally was like, please, new, I'm going beautiful. on a trip with my boyfriend. Yeah. Can you? And I was like, what's going on here? Like, okay, she's getting a new coat. And she seems more pretty. like self-assured and yeah. confident. And you see, you Which think, again, oh, okay. Was that supposed to be tied in with her and her, like, was she supposed to have insecurities? Like, I'm not, again, we're not saying because she should have, but no. because like. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, are they trying to be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the coat, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's when I was like. It makes sense. But see, but then it's literally her being like, anyway, and he's like, oh, by the way, I have your envelope with, because what happened is that they had like a shuffle in the car and we were talking about it earlier where it's like, we just knew, okay, she clearly dropped the button. But in that moment when she picked it up, I was like, well, maybe she really did get the button. But my mom and I were like side eye and Steve's over there like, the coin! I'm like, just in line! For like 20 minutes. Because he had this coin that he was like collecting or something and he had it in a little envelope, like, you know, the kind that you like pay for his collections and like... (sighs) So at the very end, he's like, by the way, and it's like one of those things where he starts to get muted because she's like, and she's literally at it. seeing like flames. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> and she like starts and running she backs backwards up into the freaking train um, on the track. Yeah. And, and he's like, coming. and he does such I a good job. So he does such a good job yeah. making it look realistic. The way so he's no, like, no, stop, no, no. wait, what are you doing? Oh my God. And he's literally like, no. And then when she falls, he has like the exact reaction you would be having where you're like, he's like, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. gosh. And he's like, stop, stop. And then literally they're like, don't even have to worry about the train because literally the ground is being pulled open. And I feel like he's one of the only ones that's seeing it. Like that actual part of her being like, maybe, I don't know. Either way, she's literally getting dragged to hell while he watches and then the train walks by, goes by. And his little face, he you just see his like, is so his sad. tears all welding up and you see the fire like in his face he's traumatized that is like how does he move on from that mm. like in the sense of i know just, where's the sequel not even just moving on like like just moving on as a human how do you what do you think like what would he even think like is he gonna th- like end up in a psych ward of like I, that that's didn't what happen. i'm saying like that I, didn't happen. like does his brain just sort of go i'm gonna just deny that and i actually. saw i saw right or b- just, maybe they would be like well you thought you saw that but actually she just got hit by the train right they could like, have easily she? yeah yeah she got swept away what yeah, where? Go stop the train. Like the train's gonna the stop, train. obviously. Yeah. But also, like, and I, I keep, I, I read the trivia thing, and apparently, like, they were like, "Oh, is there gonna be a sequel?" And at the time, Sam Rainey's like, "Well, I never had plans for one. Like, I guess if we he's had, he's like, what would it be? Just yeah, Justin's journey? That's what he's saying. Where he's like, what would I thought? I think I, we finished everything for the character. Yeah. Like, you know, and I'm like, at the, so I was like, it's messed up. Though. When that happened, I was like, because then it just ends on his little face, and it's like, <laughs> drag me to hell. I was like, ma what was that and she's like yeah and i was just like at the time i was like what the hell was that ending but then i'm like that's how it had to end yeah someone had to get dra- and I mean, as little, long as it wasn't just well, the little boy did no, get dragged out but and then the, and then the woman also passed away like she died i felt oh, bad the woman who yeah. was like helping did originally. we see that happened or did we just she like died right then and oh, they were like wow. no they were trying to revive her and then she died i thought for some reason she got revived no. Wow. They took her away because she's like, oh. oh, that's right. That's what they made that's it right. seem like. Yeah, then oh. she got taken away. And then they're like, I'm just kidding. Dang, Nabbit. I know, what's up? But you're right. I mean, how was it going to end her? I thought maybe like if it's she her was a different, or Justin. If she was a kind of different character, I would have assumed that she would have been someone that would have, the character, main character of this kind of movie would have been like, no, oh, I'm getting out of hell. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I just thought it would be, but because of who she is, this kind of makes sense. And she just like disintegrates right in front of Like, yeah, us. it's not even like. Uh, it's not even like she's like, oh, she's down there. It's like she literally just like so disintegrated. so upsetting though. I don't know. I hate, you know how I always tell you that like randomly like that. We've talked about this before, but like that 
episode of Once Upon a Time where it's like he's she said that she was gonna curse my love to go like the the man like to be not just killed but like his soul would be disintegrated mm. and she's like yeah a villain would say that like that's not something oh, yeah, someone yeah, can yeah, do yeah. like they're still you can get him back we can do blah 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 or not get him back but he's okay like he died and he's where he needs to like you know like and of course they're gonna try to yeah, add insult of course to they're injury. gonna be like, like well now he just doesn't even exist and it's like what like, like that's they're not, gonna lie to yeah make it feel worse. but it in remind, this case yeah she was trying yeah to in this case i'm like well hold on like you mean in drag me to hell where i'm like in this case it feels like she's which that makes me sad though because i'm just like so there's no you're telling me there's no way to that's sad me i'm like i want to live in the once upon a time world with, with that cgi too <laughs> and be like listen oh, there's, it's never too late okay it's like we can always there's always a hopeful ending yeah. as opposed to uh you know, well, once upon a time and happily ever after. And I was just about to say, what a what a <laughs> what a pun, or dare I say? They're like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's true. It's like I feel like there's other movies that say it too, where it's like, oh, of course they're gonna say that to make you feel worse. And I like thinking about that in real life when I myself am having like ang- anxious thoughts, being like, well, that's gonna happen, or like this is the worst thing that's ever blah blah blah. And it's like, well, of course you're gonna say that. Of course my brain's. Of gonna course say my that. brain's my my rattled stuff going on is going to uh, lie to me. I knew you would do this, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's just like you. It was just like you to say that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Justin Long lived and long, long lived. live Justin Long. Literally, there it is. That's the new mm-hmm. hashtag for this film. Mm-hmm. We're gonna put it in all our posts. Yeah. I Justin Long love sees it. it. What he's like? Can you? He's like, thanks. I guess. Are y'all good? No, we love you. We love him. <laughs> Maybe Ugh. we'll go off on a Justin Long um, train Great. because. Uh, there's that movie Tusks or Tusk. I I've seen, seen some of that. I've seen I've some of that. I've never seen it, but he's in it. And it's a horror movie. Another too. gory, kind of, not gory, but like. But like something mm-hmm, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeepers Creepers. We don't talk about how you found out. That wasn't my ending. fault. That was. We won't mention it. Listen, listen. Just in case no one's seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that was that. I was going to say Jeep. something. Wait, let's do a rating. I wanna... We'll do the rating yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, do we. <laughs> Huh. I feel like sometimes we're like, do we need the scary scale slash horror scope? Because, well, for this one, I guess it's not. A, we don't have to do it for this one, I guess, because it's more of like a gory situation. Yeah, this one's you know? like a. It's a supernatural. There was never a moment where I was like, <laughs> like I can't watch this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Or even Some the, or even might, thought that somebody yeah, would think that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're not gonna do yeah. that. It's just a grossish like. But just know that. If you're it's scared of scary. supernatural stuff, like. Yeah. If you're a kid, but you're probably not if you're listening to this. Yeah. So like, you know. Yeah. You know. Let's do the regular rating. Okay. Let's do the overall rating. Our overall yeah. ratings. Lowest to highest. Mm-hmm, Dusty. Mm-hmm. Straight Dusty. to DVD. Airplane movie. Stream it. Plan your night around it. Life changing or iconic. You know what? It would be a very fun airplane movie. Mm-hmm. It'd be a very fun one. And I think it would make me like it even more if I had seen it on the airplane. I would have been like, <laughs> and, and I think it would be fun if it was. I just said I wouldn't really, really rewatch it again on purpose. But if it was on the movie, like on a plane, and it was like there was options there that I was like, I don't know what these other movies are. I'd be like, just put it on. You know what I, I think mean? that I would rewatch this movie not on my own, but mm. I would watch it with somebody who hadn't seen it because mm-hmm. I would want to see how they reacted to it. Right. And I feel like, I'm, I would also give it airplane movie. But for a different reason, more <clears throat> so, or the same reason. Just kind of like, it's just that kind of film that's like. Um, I think I would give it airplane movie because I enjoyed it. I did yeah. enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to go out of my way to watch it, like I said, or it's not going to be one that I'm going to be like, oh yeah. But I don't know how to explain it because I don't want it to make, I don't want it to seem like I'm like, Ugh, I would never watch that again mm-hmm. because I would watch it again. But if it's on my list of maybe I liked it more than you liked it. I think you did. Because I'm like, if it was something like I could see myself putting it on in the background randomly if I randomly was in the mood to watch it. Like it seems like a almost like a comfort mm. goofy campy thing of like oh, it yeah, could I'll become put it on. that. I could see I think that. also because Justin's mm-hmm. in it. That's what I'm saying. If anytime he's on the screen I'd be like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd be like, it. I'll put it on. But then I'll also I'll put it on. But then there's so many parts that I'd be like, you know what? Stuff, you're yeah. Like, mm, just kidding. Just kidding. Maybe not. But it is it's a fun time. You're gonna have mm-hmm. fun with it. And then at the words afterwards, even if you don't like like it, you'd still be like, It's a fun time though. 
And it was a good time. You know, it was a good time. You know what it was? It was a good time. So, good I time. mean, I could, I still think I'm an airplane movie. So, I'm giving it that. But Solid. Yeah. Solid, solid. Uh, That's how I feel. A good time. A good time. Good, mm. good, good. A good time. Mm, to mm, the mm. east. Rock it to the west. Guys, thanks for being here. <gasps> If you liked this episode or this podcast, please share with a friend. Please let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a five star. And also, if you want us to cover something, let us know. You can go to our website, fromunderthebedpodcast.com. You can email us, fromunderthebedpodcast at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram, fromunderthebed. And follow us on TikTok. Uh, It's fromunderthebedpod. So yeah, check us out. We'll put all the links below. Yay! Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Uh, What a time. Long live Justin Long. Yes. (laughs) Bye. Bye.